The film is The Return of Tanya Tucker, featuring Brandy Carlisle. Never went uh, nowhere. That's <laughs> which uh, it tells the story of the legend, Tanya Tucker, who defied the ways, I would say, actually, trailblazer, hellraiser, legend Tanya Tucker, defied the rules for women in country music. Yeah, You're and, going, and <laughs> an idiot most of the other time. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's the story of uh, you coming back to the studio. For, right uh, after 20 years. Yeah, right? first original record in, in 20 years, and it's about the friendship and bond that Brandy and you yes, formed. Yes, we did. And the journey through what I won't say is a comeback, but a uh -huh. relaunch. Oh, I like it. Uh -huh. I like it. Relaunch. Yeah. Yeah. I but I mean, I, I was out there working, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. But I guess there were times when I wasn't working, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, it makes me take a second look and what, what, what did I do? Now, did I do that? So, uh, um, you know, and I watched it, part of it, <laughs> most of it. I can't already stand and watch myself on, uh, on anything. But uh, they, you know, they worked so hard. Kathleen and her whole crew has worked so hard. And not to mention Brandy. I mean, we developed this friendship as we're making the record. So usually it starts out being friends first, and then you make a record. But we did it. Uh, we became very good friends in the and the uh, making and the process. And, you know, there was a lot of firsts for me on that record. Yeah. You know, um, uh, well, there, <laughs> where do I begin? Uh, I'd never, for instance, one of them would be, never have I had anybody to be in, with me in the vocal booth when I'm recording, never. I, you know, that yeah. just is unheard of. Brandy but was I mean, right it, by her side. But yeah, and, we, and then, but I didn't say like, mm, mm, you know, it was, it just, like it was natural. And yeah. so those things that I hadn't done before be, it were just totally, just came so easy, you know? And uh, I'm just, I'm really blessed that she, I mean, she's, she called me, what, two days, a couple of days ago and I was saying, you're going to come to my birthday party, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you're coming too, right? You better yeah. you gotta invite October me. October 10th, you know. I'll see you there. National holiday, no. <laughs> and uh, so she's coming in for that. And, and that's the only day mm. that... I said, what about the 28th? Because I'm doing, also doing a video with uh, Christopherson and Dennis Quaid called mm. On My Way to Heaven and with John Carter Cash directing. Oh, so yeah. I've had these other little, little things I'm doing. And... Um, all of a sudden, I've got a movie coming out for Christmas. Got this documentary. Uh, I've got a new album coming out. You're uh, busy. Golly, yeah. But All at uh, once. whatever I am busy, Brandy's twice that much. Mm -hmm. So, but I tell her, I say, you know, if I was your age, I'd give you a run for your money, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You still do. <laughs> Did you think you guys would be friends this long, all the way through it? From no, I. You know, really. Mm -hmm. After the first album. I didn't know we were going to do another one. Right. I had no, there was no, like, oh, yeah, next album. But it, I, I, I didn't know if we were going to do it. I was, you know, hoping we mm -hmm. would. And, I, that, I'm, and I'm right back there again. I don't, we just finished our second album together. And I'm kind of, well, it's probably going to be the last album, you know, we do. But, but I hope I it's don't not. I think so. You know, I just know how busy she is. And Sounds like you're yeah, pretty busy, too, She always too, makes too. room for me, yeah. I mean, no, I, we're both busy, but you know what? And that's because we have some great fans out there that are that somehow love to hear one of us sing. Yeah. And sometimes together. <laughs> if we're lucky. I did w cut one of her songs, though. And we have our first duet. I forget to mention that. We, uh, Brandy says, we're going to have our first duet. And Bernie, Bernie Toppin wrote it. Oh, wow. So... That's a big wow, deal. I'm so cool. <laughs> no, it was very, very, I don't know what it means, but it was, it's a great song. And it's called Breakfast in Birmingham. But uh, just having a lot of firsts. And you think, after being in, what, 51 years in this business, you'd think I'd be out of first. First time I talked to you, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm? That's right. So there's still a lot first left for me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I hear tell, correct me if I'm wrong. Yep. That Shooter came to see me. Shooter Jennings came to see me in Vegas, and I remember because I was so sick. I had bronchitis, and Jesse Coulter, his mother, was with, with him, and uh, they were going to come to the show. And, and uh, you know, you want to be really good for your friends. Uh, did the show, got through it, and afterwards Shooter was back stage. Him and Jesse came back, 
in their dressing room. And we were talking. He goes, man, I, I want to produce an album on you. And I thought, oh, yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. You know, I'm going to Tucson now. But he said, no, on my dime. And I went, okay, now let's talk. <laughs> but I think what happened was I think Brandy, uh, our shooter, was talking with Brandy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much later. Yep. But it wasn't too long yep. after that. And he told her what he was going to be doing. And she said, oh, not without me. You're not. So I hear that's and, how that happened. And they hadn't met Brandy and No, Tanya Brandy and I never. Met. I didn't know. Who, no. I, I'm ashamed to say I did not know her music. I'd never re re heard of her name. But my kids knew who she was. So, yeah. Mom, you got to do this album. So uh, 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 I'm, I'm so glad I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And Brandy was a huge fan of Tanya's, and Tanya was one her of the mother. major. Yeah, and her mother was a huge fan of Tanya's. That's what got Brandy into exactly. it. Exactly. When she, she was eight. Yeah. yeah. And so and Tanya. I love it. When she's doing an interview, she says, oh, I was singing San Antonio Stroll yeah. when I was eight years old. Yep. So it, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and yeah. she, you know, definitely not just musically was influenced by Tanya, but also influenced by, she always says, your toughness, which kind of gave her permission. She said to she be wanted tough. to be tough. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, are we talking about the same person? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think she's tough. Yeah. You know, she's pretty tough as they come. But with a velvet glove. Yes. Me, I'm a little more rough around the edges, you know. Which we like it. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, done some projects with Brandy in the past. And she had spoken to Rick Rubin before she started producing this project, seeking advice. Um, and Rick told her... Whatever you do, make sure you document it because his his work with Johnny Cash and American Recordings. And so she had that in her mind, called me and said, I'm doing this record with Tanya Tucker. She knew I was a fan. Uh, she's going to do her first album of original music in 17 years. We've got to capture it. Are you in? Wow, and I said, so cool. hell yes. That's very when cool. do we start? And she said, tomorrow. Yes. Two mics, not one, but yeah. two on me at all times. Yep. Yeah. And in the restroom. <laughs> we cut that stuff yeah. out. Oh, good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was, I mean, how, who could say no to this opportunity to meet? She was also a hero of mine. And to be a little part and watch this whole thing unfold and this relationship that she and Brandy formed. Yes, we have. We yeah. Have, uh, formed, uh, we all have, though. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, there's uh, the other first, okay, <laughs> was... Uh, the house that built me. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, nobody, I can remember maybe one, I think, uh, one or two times when someone's, you need to cut this song. I mean, that was Clive Davis. Yeah. Of course, that, I didn't say, <laughs> that was the only album I did with mm -hmm. him. So, <clears throat> um, but if, since the beginning of, of uh, well, since I was 13, I've always picked my own material. Yeah. And, uh, Thank God Billy Sherrill listened, is a little left of center, mm -hmm. and he listened to a 13-year-old girl, which nobody else would have. So I was lucky there. Um, but uh, she said, hey, T, I want you to do a house built me. And I went, okay, huge, that's where we got to draw the line. for Miranda yeah. Lambert, yeah. I said, I'm not going to be caught loitering in front of a microphone singing that song because it's been done, you know. And like my dad told me about Patsy Cline's songs, he said, don't go there. It's already been there. Been real good. Just leave it alone. And I never have done Patsy songs. Uh, so I wasn't going to... How can you recreate Ode to Billy Joe? Yeah. You know? No. But you know, Reba did a pretty good job. Yeah, I'll say Fancy. I, yeah. Right? But uh, how's, I said, nope, not doing it. Nope, nope. <laughs> I walked out of the studio. And she just... You were there. I was there. It's in the documentary, too. And it's an incredible... You me. And I'm going, no, nope, no. Nope. That's my final answer. <laughs> no. And she finally got me to do it. And then I went in, went into, and we it's went into incredible. the vocal booth. I was 46 takes on the first line. She goes, no, it was 49. <laughs> because I, I, I can't believe that. It was, was a different that, way of recording. It yeah. wasn't that quite. It, that it wasn't that many. Okay. Definitely wasn't that yeah, many, but gonna, but a I'm different gonna, I'm approach. Gonna back again. Yeah. Because I didn't want to learn it. Yeah. You know, but she got me to do it, and she changed some of the words, and it really, really made a difference. You know, and uh, I think I kind of like it now. Yeah, and I think what's honestly cool about this film is that 
we get to see you doing these things that were uncomfortable for you. Yes. Pushing through your fears, being vulnerable. And a lot of people these days won't allow that kind of stuff to be on camera. Oh, uh, it shouldn't be. It should. That's the no, we should. It should be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that's the point. Like people will learn from that, and I think. Yeah. That, and get, well, I hope so because I was learning too. Yeah. At the same time, um, but I mean, I learned a lot, a lot, and I had a lot of first, and it, it was, and I, you know, I'd been up for a, fourteen times. I'd been up for a Grammy, mm -hmm. and I got perfectly comfortable with losing. It was like, really great. We're gonna go on. We're gonna have a party, mm -hmm. and um, but I was fourteen years old. Yeah. When I first got nominated the first time, 14 nominations later, two out of four wasn't bad. Huh? Yeah. 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 So, but, but, but losing was comfortable for me. Winning is not. How do you feel about but being I'm a, used to yeah, it? Yeah, I say, how are you feeling about being a winner now? <laughs> well, it just means you got to have a better album. You just got to keep going like this. Yep. And how far can you keep going like this? Mm -hmm. I hope a long way. You know, Without a doubt, you can. I'm just afraid I'm going to die before I get everything done, you know? No, ma'am. No, you got not. a lot left. Nope, not. You're young. Hell, you I ain't been to Australia and you're young. yet. Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> well, let's go. I know. Put some shrimp on the body. <laughs> yeah, I really want to go to Australia. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, many we other it. places, yes. too. Borneo being one of them. All right. To take care of our orangutans. Part two documentary. Yes. Oh, yeah. I love animals.